Hello again, Heather the Painter here. When I save my paintings, I'm going to save them as Corel's native file named the RIF. What that looks like is File Save As. You'll see our format is Painter RIF. And I'm going to put what stage number this is, which is number one, PTR for Painter. And then the original prep file name. I'm going to make sure I hit Uncompressed. Go ahead and save. Now you can save it as many other formats, and in former uh, versions I would save as an uncompressed Photoshop or a PSD file. But the beauty of saving as the native RIF files now in Painter 12, and this is brand new, is that it does link all of your clone sources to your current painting. So what that means is if we were to restart, so I'm going to close out everything, start fresh on a, a new project or come back to our painting the next day, I'm going to open up the painting that we have which would be my one PTR hook prep. You'll see in our clone source palette that it's already loaded our clone source. So we don't have to reset that up because it was already linked in our RIF file. So if you have multiple clone sources, this is a really great way um, to not have to remember everything that you had worked from. So it will remember the pieces that you had pulled as a file clone or file quick clone what pieces are your clone source information files. Now if you're saving this as a Photoshop file, like that I had done in previous versions, uh, you will have to reset up your clone source palette so you don't get these lovely blue flowers. If this were not here, this is what I would get. Whoops, let's try that as a cloner. And you can see we get this lovely blue hens and chicks pattern. This is Corel's default pattern to show you that you're not cloning from the correct source. So when this happens, you simply come back to your little clone source palette, click on this little floppy disk looking icon, open source image, and you're going to open up your original file. So now we can see that we're going to be currently pulling image from the correct file and we will no longer have those blue flower pattern. You can also see on my clone source palette that I'm now pulling source information from my image.